Aquarius, welcome. It's Jeff here at Raise Your Vibration TV, and that means it's time for your weekly tarot reading. Oh, yeah. And this is going to be from March 18th all the way to March 24th. We got a powerful, powerful energy happening March 20th, midweek. That is the spring equinox. That's when the sun moves into the sign of Aries. We get out of this dreamy, foggy Neptune. Uh, Neptune. Yeah, Neptune's the ruler of Pisces, but Pisces energy. And we're moving into the rush of first spring, you know, the, 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 the rush of spring. I mean, everything, you get that one warm day. You know, and all of a sudden, boom, everything is blooming. Everything turns green. You know, it's like it's an excellent time at the spring equinox to get in tune with that energy, to move with that energy, to plan your life around that. You know, like as an astrologer, I look at that time as the real astrological new year, you know, because it, it, I use sun based astrology, the path, the apparent path of the sun through the constellations and it's an excellent time. Those four points in the year are very powerful. And this is the start of them. You know, we have the spring equinox, then the summer solstice, then the fall equinox and the winter solstice. So four important times of the year. So let's get the energy for the week. So use that to your advantage. Okay. All right. What do we got? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, boom, this energy changes, man. Wow. There we go. Okay. We got it now. All right, Aquarius. Here's what we got. The Devil, the Moon, the Ace of Swords, the Seven of Wands, the King of Wands, the Two of Wands, and the Six of Wands. There is a lot of change here. There is a lot of change. However, what they want you to focus on for the week is the Seven of Wands energy. This is protect your energy. This is don't let other people's opinions or their negative energy or anything like that, their drama, their bullshit, them trying to tell you what to do. You have to stand your ground. You have to have boundaries. You know, this is also protecting your energy and knowing that it's solar plexus energy. You know, you can see that right there. Confidence. I can do this, but we've got some stuff to work on here. The devil is really, you know, we're, we're still working on, we could be obsessed with our thoughts. We could be obsessed with our emotions. You know, we could be caught in this loop where we really need to free ourselves. And the Ace of Swords gives us an excellent opportunity to change the way that we're looking at the situation. Okay. So we really need to focus on getting through this. And this is kind of like dealing with emotional demons. This is emotional releasing. I mean, you're definitely going to do it because the seven of wands, it's like all of a sudden, like look, the auric field around her is just booming with beautiful energy. So that's what you need to kind of put your focus in on this week is protecting your energy, standing your ground, saying, I got this. And because all this change here, all these wands, the king of wands is that energy, that fiery energy of I'm going to, I'm, I'm doing this. I'm, I'm moving forward. I have the courage of the lion. You could be dealing with a Leo here too. So take a hint from them. You know, it's the opposite sign of your sign. And, you know, you can both learn something from each other. But what this is, this King of Wands energy is moving forward, standing your ground and having the confidence to move forward. This could be making travel plans, making a lot of plans, a lot of plans for the future. You know, all of a sudden, every all the lights are green for you. And the outcome, the Six of Wands, is you focusing on success. It's recognition. It's, it's well-deserved reward. And damn, Aquarius, you can't get any better than that. But it takes you placing some boundaries up, you know, and not letting your emotions and that temptation of being obsessed in your thought patterns. You know what I mean? you got to stop it in its tracks. So let's get some clarifiers. And that energy feels like 
you know, how it's running through me now is kind of like, uh, almost like adrenaline. I'm feeling that, you know, you can feel that. So you need to protect yourself. You don't want to do burnout. You know, you don't want to just ignite this and then just let it burn really fast. You want to slow burn Aquarius, slow burn. And there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. So let's get some clarifiers and see what they got to add to the story. Is that it? Yep. Okay. Wow. More Leo energy. All right. Five of swords is, you know, yeah, I think you're ready. This is change. This is change of you walking away from thoughts that no longer serve you. You're looking at your past and going, fuck it, man. You know, the 10 of wands is you. Again, more wands, more change. You're done carrying this burden. You're done. You're releasing this. And the sun, again, solar plexus energy. This is all about confidence because it pays off here. I mean, this is an Aquarius getting really confident. I know sometimes that can be tough, but with the sun's energy, the sun does not ask permission to shine. It just fucking does. And that's what you have to do. Like I said, take, take a few notes from your opposite sign, Leo. Confidence. I can do this. I am worthy. You know, I am strong. I am successful. I am talented. I am creative. You know? Okay. Let's get some oracles and see what they add to the story. What messages do we have for Aquarius? What other messages do we have for Aquarius? What do we need to know? Yeah, that one wants to come out. What other ones? Oh, there they are. Boom. Okay. One fell on the floor. Oh my God, you cannot make this shit up. You cannot make this shit up. Holy shit. All right, let's do this one at a time. Okay. It is time. I'm going to tell you something, Aquarius. I, I've, I've done air signs readings. You're the last air sign to do for the morning. And as soon as this all started to play out, my energy level has just gone up. Like I just like, like drank three cups of coffee or something. It's like unbelievable. Like all of a sudden, boom, this energy just fucking hit. All right. You have to use your wisdom and spiritual strength this week in order to wrestle these demons. And the biggest thing for you to do is to emotionally withdraw from the situations that you keep running in your mind. Or even if it's in the past, let it go. All right? But look at this. Solar plexus energy. Confidence. I am worthy. I shine as brightly as the sun. Look at all these three, how they come together. And it's three. And another five, pay, pay attention to 555. Five, five. This is encouraging change. This is you speaking your truth into the universe. This is you speaking your truth in everything. Maybe you need to just maybe talk to somebody or something here that maybe has to do with a relationship, but speaking your truth, speaking it into the universe. You know, I am confident. I am open. <laughs> yeah. Pretty strong reading here definitely leo influence man that is just confidence confidence the seven of wands the sun the solar plexus the solar plexus card the king of wands i mean that's just powerful leo energy that you should really take a couple notes from you need confidence look at another five fives are important you're right Again, this is transformation. This is you. Look at the bottom of the deck. Shine. That is the sun card. Like, my hands are shaking. It's unbelievable. This is great change for you. Challenging times are over with. You're about to change that. How? You detach from the situation. If it doesn't serve your best interest. You detach from the mental gymnastics you're going through here so uh, now we got sacral chakra so what that means is use your creativity you're going to be using a lot of creativity and you have to be confident that the creativity that is coming through you from the divine is harnessed in a way that is beneficial to you 
There is great change going on here, Aquarius. All right, let's look at love. I mean, why not? Look at all this energy that's going on for you. It's, it's, it's releasing. There's a lot of releasing going on this week. You're going to be busy doing that. And it looks like busy just focusing on success. That's all it is, man. Oh my God, you've got to be kidding me. Look at the card that came out. <laughs> it's another fucking Leo energy. Eight distills, 2024 distills down to eight. And that is the strength card. That is self-confidence. That is taming that lion energy. But what that also means is that 2024 is your year. Look at all of that. That is incredible. Now, oh my God. And then we have the Queen of Wands energy out here with the King of Wands. Wow. An end to challenging times. Detaching from the past. You know, there's some emotional issues that you need to let go of. You know, just let it go. And confidence will get you to where you're going. The Hierophant is having faith, but this is also a sacred union. And it is also clarifying. And another five. So you are letting go of some karmic shit with a relationship. And you are opening up to this beautiful self-confidence that is just going to radiate and really pay off in every aspect. Now we have the page of wands coming in. There is ushering change in with this confidence. We just need to tackle this Aquarius. You can do this. You can do this. The energy is so, this energy is a lot lighter and will balance the scale out. This just stalls it. You know what I mean? That's incredible. But with this, there's a relationship here that can stand the test of time. I don't know. This is just, that's just a feel good energy. Things are shifting, man. There, things are shifting. And it's, and it's all based on you. This is your, this is to your credit. That's to your credit. Because I got a feeling you're just, the confidence level is through the roof as it should be. And, you know, it's not ego. You know, you, you there's definite difference between confidence and ego. You know, ego is saying you're confident when you're not. And confidence is walking into a room and not giving a shit what anybody says. You know what I mean? So remember that. Support. Lean on your inner circle during this time. Your inner circle is going to be very important for you to help release this. You know, especially with spiritual wisdom and and getting it right, getting the mix right for yourself. Here and now, your true love is already a part of your life. That's that, yeah, for a lot of you, that could definitely be a truth right there. So pay attention to that, you know? Abundance, you've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. That's huge in every area of your life. But this needs some work. All right, let's get some closing messages for you. What a powerful reading. Everyone's readings have just been off the fucking hook. Look at this. Change. Oh, my God. Aquarius, you're being asked to change a part of yourself that no longer feels like the person you've become or becoming. This is the whole crux of this. Wow. Change isn't always easy, Aquarius, but letting go of this outdated part of yourself will allow you to align with your true self. This reading is the best one out of all of them I've done so far because it speaks of change in every aspect of your life when you let go of these outdated thinking systems and adapt a positive glowing sun-like solar plexus energy. Your creativity flows. You start to speak more eloquently. You say what you mean and you align to a beautiful relationship. Wow. All right, Aquarius, that's going to do it for us this week. All right. I need to go have a smoke. And uh, yeah, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next week.